the Lord bless you, everyone. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you. Um, I'm not really going to wait. Um, I'm not really going to wait uh, for persons to come on. I just want to release this assignment uh, that I have been commissioned to do on this afternoon. And, you know, just be out of the way. If you listen back to it afterwards, then the Lord bless you. And I just want to encourage you to encourage everybody on this afternoon before i even go there i just want to say a beautiful sunday evening to everybody uh, who's listening who is tuning in i want to say god bless you to my apostle and my prophet apostle dr sean taylor and of course pastor lady nicole taylor and i just want to say a big congratulations to them of course they're going to be an anniversary 10 years my god 10 years of anniversary service can you believe it 10 years so i just want to say uh, god bless you and congratulations to both of them but i just want to encourage somebody on this afternoon listen the word of god says that god inhabits the praises of his people listen to me one of the things that the enemy wants to do is to stop your praise and so you know many songs have come out listen i will not be silent i will always worship you and there's a reason why we have to worship god and there's a reason why the enemy fights our worship why because praise is a weapon praise is your weapon i want, want to say that one more time praise is your weapon weapon for praise steals the enemy and the avenger when he comes out against your life god has given you uh ammunition against the plans of the enemy and that's why he wants to keep the people of god the enemy wants to keep the people in god in bondage the enemy wants to keep the people in of god in depression and i've been guilty of that for two solid years around the same time every year i found myself in a demonic cycle where i could not worship where i could could, I was so bound in my mind with oppression and suppression. And that's what the enemy wants to do with God's people. He wants to suppress your worship. Who was responsible for worship in the heavenlies? Of course, the anointed cherub. His name was called Lucifer. His name was Satan. His name was the devil. He was responsible for worship. And he had such a glory that rested him. All of the worship came through him. All of the instruments came through him. And he was the one responsible. And now because he got kicked out of heaven, God has given us that same gifting of worship and of praise in order for us to steal the enemy's plan against our lives. There are things that you need from the Lord and you've been in a place of stagnation. You've been up in a place where you're wondering, listen, when is it going to happen for me? When am I going to come into that place where God would have me to be in him? When is my finances going to turn around? When is my husband going to even notice that I'm alive? When is my wife going to come into alignment? When am I going to be aligned even in the ministry that God has called me to do? You're a prophetess. You're a pastor. You are a minister. You are a pulpit worker. You are a nurse's aide. You, oh, listen, the calling of God is ripe upon your life, but the enemy wants to keep you in a place of stagnation where you do not intentionally lully go after God. You have to know that, hey, this is what I want to do. This is what I have to do. This is what I've been mandated to do. And you have to go after it. There is a song, we don't sing it no more. It talks about being intentional. We talk about God being intentional. He's intentional concerning you. He's contentional. He's intentional about blessing you. He's intentional about using you for his glory. But are you intentional about going after God? Going after the glory of God? Going after the things of God? You have to get to that place where you intentionally seek the Lord. I remember, listen, I was nobody. I was nobody. I'm not even saying I'm somebody now, but I remember before I even came into anything 
There was a season of my life, and I keep sharing it everywhere I go. Five o'clock in the morning, you would find me seeking the face of the Lord, worshiping God early in the morning. And I didn't even know what it was that God was doing with my life, but I was nobody. I was a security officer. I was working. Oh my goodness. I don't, I, I listen, listen. I used to get a hundred dollars every week, a hundred dollars every week. And you know what? That, that may have been, that may as well have been a thousand or a couple of thousand that I was making. But guess what? I was faithful with that. I was faithful with that. And, and, and God wants us to be faithful even in our worship faithful in our praise so that these delays can be broken we have to get it in our mind exactly what it is that we want for God and we have to use our praise we have to tell the enemy listen you had me in bondage too long you had me with my mouth sealed too long I was in a place of stagnation for too long. But right now, listen, we're going to rip the ceiling off of our praise. We're going to rip the ceiling off of our worship. And we're going to intentionally go after the presence of God. We have to intentionally go after the glory of God. Oh my God. For what is coming upon the earth, you're going to need the glory of God to rest upon your life. You're going to need God's presence to go with you to be able hallelujah to withstand what is coming on the earth and when God sees you in that place of positioning where you are in alignment and where you put your trust and your hope and your faith in the triune God who's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what you could ever think, ask or imagine. See, God is looking for vessels that are available where he can pour his spirit upon you. But if you are in a place where you're just standing still and marking time, then how can God locate you? You have got to be intentional about what you want. You have got to be intentional about going after God. And sometimes we want things, right? We want things, but guess what? In order for us to get what we want from God, sometimes we got to just want God. We, we got to seek his face and not just because of what he can give us. And the blessings will fall, automatically fall. When you intentionally put God first, everything else will be added unto you. When you put praises first, there's a praise on the inside. And I cannot keep it to myself. Oh, praise is what we need to do to break those barriers, to break those demonic cycles that had us going round, round and round in a circle every single year, especially around this time of year. I can tell y'all, I can tell some of y'all, y'all get broken hearted around this time of year. Y'all get in situations where you are depressed and it's because it's a demonic time. It is a demonic time. You, you, somebody, listen, that's why we've got to know what it is we want from God. We've got to know what it is we need from the Lord. It's not going to just drop into our laps. We have to see God says he inhabits the praises of his people. So, so, so when, when you are in a position where uh, you, you feel so hurt, I can't even worship child. I felt so bad. I can't even worship. I can't even worship. That's, that's exactly what the enemy wants to do. He wants to bring you to a mute state. Because he know the minute you start to lift up Jesus. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. And I believe when you begin to lift up Jesus, listen, that attracts the anointing that attracts the, his presence that attracts the angels to come and see about you. But you got to make up your mind that, hey, I'm going to go after God with everything on the inside of me. I'm going to worship the King of glory. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Those gates, you're going to be lifted up. Those doors, you're going to be lifted up so that the King of glory can come into my situation. So that the King of glory can have ever, uh, God preeminence in my life to do the impossible. The things that I am not able to change. The things that I cannot do. I 
need, oh hallelujah, the triune God to come in and do a work that only he can do. You have some relatives, they may be dealing with a situation, ah God and the doctors have given them up, but you are sitting there and you are crying and all God wants you to do is lift up a praise, all he wants you to do is lift up his name, oh God let the king of glory have his way. Let the king of glory come in. Let the king of glory move in your situation. Let the king of glory move on your job. Oh, glory be to God. They've been planting things on your job. Oh, glory be to God. They've been doing things on your job just to get... My God, you don't even have to do nobody nothing. Especially if you name the name of Jesus Christ, you're going to be challenged in this hour. But listen, you don't have to say it verbally if you're on your job. But guess what? Keep a praise in your heart. Oh, glory be to God and watch God move. Watch God move all the obstacles out of your way. Oh, hallelujah. Listen, there was a time I couldn't wait to get to the waters because I know when I got to the waters, I know when I lift up a praise to God, I know that the heavens will be open and I know that the glory of God will rest upon my life and my situation would change. So I sought the Lord in prayer and I sought the Lord in worship and I sought the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus just lifting him up because of who he is. See, when you stroke God, come on somebody. We've got to stroke the Lord. He loves it when we worship him. He loves it when we praise him. He loves it when we glorify him. He loves to hear those good things. He loves to hear the things that you're saying to somebody who's not even ordained for your life. Come on. The person that you have closest in your heart, not even, God don't even know nothing but them. But yet you give more love to them. And that's why he's going to use that person to really, really do a number on you until you get it right. Until you, yeah, y'all don't want to hear that. Until you put him first in all things. I'm sweating in this car. I'm sweating in this car. But listen. You have to intentionally go after what you want from the Lord in worship and in praise. And do not allow anyone to hinder you. The enemy would use people. The enemy would use discouragement. And, and it comes through vessels. Lord have mercy. It comes through people. Just to keep you down. But today, I want to leave this word with you. Be intentional about going after God. I know some of y'all have been in a place of dryness. Some of y'all have been in a place where you want to just give up. You wanted to just say, man, listen, this ain't working. I don't even want to go to church no more. I don't think it make no sense. But guess what? The plan of God, the woman of God preached a word today about God having a better plan for your life. Listen, God has a plan for your life and he has not changed his mind concerning you. You may have given up. But God will never leave you nor forsake you. You've got to get up. You've got to determine within yourself. Listen, I'm going to be who God has called me to be. I will be who he has called me to be. I will rise up. I will rise up in the calling. Many are called, but few are chosen. You may not have been chosen to be to do a particular thing, but you're still called. And listen, flow with the call. Flow with the call. Until you are chosen into that assignment where God could trust you and he could trust you with even more. He can take you into deeper dimensions of praise. There are seven levels of praise that you need to get to. Oh, glory be to God that will cause the heavens to be open continually over your life. That will break the ceiling of some stuff that had been tied up. Oh, glory be to God. You need for God to break some stuff off of your life. But if you would just trust the word of this prophet today and begin to intentionally go after God. I'm telling you, oh, glory be to God. I was at the point just a couple of oh, 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 months ago. I came on this Facebook and I told y'all, all I was doing was crying. I was depressed and I couldn't worship the way I wanted to. But listen, I said to myself, listen, this is not going to do. If I just sit here and don't do nothing, I will never come out of this situation. But listen, sometimes it's only a test. Pass your test today. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how you feel. 
I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like worshiping God. You don't want to get out of your situation. Praise your way out of it. Praise your way out of this. Praise your way. You may not even feel like the anointing, but that's all right. God sees you. He's going to receive it. No matter how minuscule you think it is, begin small and then continue to increase. Go after what you need from God intentionally because the enemy, he wants to put sickness on you. He wants to attack your finances. He wants to attack your family. He wants to do all these things so you could turn away from God. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to become so discouraged that you, oh my God, listen, I was on this, this app. I was on a particular app and, and, and all that time I was on this app, I should have been tapping in to God. I should have been tapping into God, but I was doing other things that was drawing me away from God and I did not realize it. It was not helping me at all and I should know better. But thank God for God. Thank God for my apostle. Thank God for the calling. Thank God. Hey, glory be to God. Thank God that he has not changed his mind concerning you. And no matter how far you have strayed, remember that the assignment still awaits. God has not changed his mind about who you are. Oh God, his plans for you are for good and not evil to give you an expected end. You are expecting great things from the Lord, but guess what? He's also expecting you to give him the glory. He's also expecting you to give him the praise. He expects for you to trust him. No matter what it seems like, you're just in a test and you don't even know it. Pass your test. You failed everyone and you've been going around the circle. But this time you're going to intentionally go after God. You're going to intentionally, oh glory be to God. Uh, you're not, you have to decree and declare this one. I shall pass this test. I am a winner man because I have Jesus on my side. I am going to do it this time. I claim the victory. I claim it. I claim the victory. I shall worship the Lord and I shall give him the glory and I will not be silent. I will always worship the living God. Ah, glory be to God and watch your life turn around. Watch your situation turn around. Trust me. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of, of joy and pleasures forevermore. Just don't you want to feel some joy? Don't you want to feel peace? Don't you want to just feel the glory of God? Oh, Jesus. Lord, before they call the police on me, you just want to be in the presence of God. Fullness of joy. You've been hurting, you've been crying. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. Invoke his presence by going after God intentionally in praise and in worship. Forget about yourself. These little simple songs we used to sing back in the day. So forget about yourself. Consecrate on him and worship him. Forget about what you're dealing with and just worship God. He loves it when we worship him. Listen, God bless you. I'm so glad that you all came on, you know. And uh, if I've said anything that bless you, just go ahead and just, wow. Just say, Minister Rose, Pastor Gibson, you, you bless me today. I would really appreciate that. And I'm going to break out of being shy. This is my shy point. And I've got, I've got to intentionally go after God and go after ministry because he's called me to people. He has called me to people. Whether it's on the radio, whether it's on television. So every opportunity that we have to lift up the name of Jesus, let's use it for that. We use a lot of these platforms for just crazy stuff. Let us use it to complete our assignment and reach souls for Christ Jesus. Amen. God bless you and enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Happy Sunday, everybody. Love you so much, Rashad, my son. God bless you, God bless you, Rashad. I see you, all right? God bless you and enjoy the rest of your Sunday.